Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm coming to you with the relaxed hair tag. Um, I didn't see this particular tag on YouTube. I just googled relaxed hair tag and a blog came up with all these questions. So I tweaked some of them, but I'm going to give it a shot. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first question is, what is your current length and where did you start? So uh, right now my hair is shoulder length I guess this is called shoulder length uh, I recently cut it I have a whole video that I explained last time but yeah this is where my hair is right now and um, when I first before I cut my hair uh, the first time last year when I got the bob uh, before I did all that my hair was about mid back length yeah it was about in the middle of my back um, I'll insert pictures so you don't think I'm just one of those girls who be like yeah my hair used to be so long before I cut it what is your goal so my goal changes like every day like sometimes I'm like I want to have some really really long hair like hair way down to my butt uh, sometimes I feel that way and then sometimes I'm like man I'm about to cut this hair I'm about to have a bomb shortcut so I go back and forth I'm really really indecisive uh, it takes me a long time to make a decision but once I do make a decision like I'm like impulsive so once I say this is what I want to do I just go out and do it like that's with everything so I'm don't really have like a set goal I think my only goal is just to maintain healthy relaxed hair so I just want my hair to stay healthy and be bouncy and uh, maintain uh, the density and everything like that so my only goal is just to keep up my relaxed hair um, whether it be long or short I don't know okay how long have you been relaxed so I have been relaxed for two and a half years uh, it will be three years in August of this year obviously so yeah two and a half years what made you decide to be relaxed over natural so I explained this in a previous video like I think it was my hair Q&A video from last year but um, I was natural I had went natural but I wore a lot of weaves like I didn't wear my hair out at all when I was natural and um, so when I would wear the sew-ins the uh, my leave out was just completely heat damaged because I would straighten it all the time to blend in with the straight bundles I had in so yeah my hair was completely heat damaged in the front um, it got to a point where I was like okay I really want to just be able to wear my hair out but I didn't know how to manage it and um, like I said my hair was heat damaged so it didn't even really look right so I was just like well I like to wear my hair straight anyways I might as well relax it and so that's what I did. My next question, would you ever go natural? Yes, of course I would go natural. I have nothing against being natural. I've thought, I always think about going natural. Honestly, it's always in the back of my mind. But um, if I did go natural again, I would not transition. That's what I did last time I went natural and it just did not work out that well for me. It just was really frustrating. I think that's why I had wore a lot of sew-ins because I just didn't feel like dealing with my hair. So if I did go natural, I would just cut it all off. But I'm just not mentally there yet to like really rock a real, real shortcut like that. So I don't know, but I would definitely go natural. It's not off the table at all for me. When did you start your hair journey? What in inspired your start? So yeah, just going back to uh, when I was uh, still natural and I was getting weaves all the time, it just got to a point where I was like, I don't want to have to depend on weaves. Like, I would really like to just wear my real hair out and feel good about my hair. I, was, I still love weave, but at that time, I was just like, I want to wear my real hair. So I got um, a blowout. Uh, this is why I was still natural. I got a blowout, and my hair was longer than I expected expected it to be it was probably like a little bit longer than my hair is now and I was like I like this like you know I could do this and um I wore it straight but oh my gosh my hair did not play it's like I live in Georgia so it's hot sometimes it's humid and so as soon as I would like step outside with my straight blowout my hair was completely like a poof ball and so I'm like okay I really like my real hair but I want to be able to wear it straight so I just got a perm and that kind of inspired my whole uh, healthy hair journey. Um, I was like, okay, since I'm going to be relaxed, I'm going to really take care of my hair because I know relaxed hair is fragile and yeah, so that is why. Uh, quickly share your hair regimen. 
So I have a wash day routine on here and most of you guys know this but the first thing I do is shampoo my hair, then I condition my hair, then I deep condition my hair, then I sit under a heat cap or a steamer. I have a steamer. Uh, I stole it from my mom. So I'll sit under a steamer and let the uh, deep condition really penetrate my hair and then I will wash my hair out and then I will get out the shower and I will put some leave-in conditioner and then I will let my hair air dry or I'll sit under a hooded dryer for like 30 minutes and yeah that's pretty much my hair regimen it sounds really like compact but it takes about I say my whole hair care regimen um, my wash days takes me about um, I would say about an hour and a half two hours from start to finish if I let my hair air dry then of course it's like an all-day process but if I just sit under the dryer for 30 minutes my hair will be basically straight and all I have to do is run a flat iron through it and straightening my hair only takes like 30 minutes so it's a relatively quick uh, my washes are really super quick I can wash my hair almost any time so one of the benefits of having short relaxed hair what is your favorite product or hairline? So, this question was kind of weird to me. I should have tweaked it a little bit. But my favorite hair product would have to be my Ion Repair Solutions Conditioner. I just love that conditioner. If I couldn't use any of my favorite products anymore and I can only pick one, it would just be that one. It just makes my hair feel so much better. Um, after I shampoo it, it just makes my hair feel so much more revived and just feels so silky and I just love that stuff so that would be my favorite product have you found your staples uh yeah so generally for shampoo I only gonna use Shea Moisture shampoo I mean I'll, I'll branch out to other things but generally I only use Shea Moisture shampoo just because I know that it's very gentle on the hair um for conditioner like I said I love 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 the ion repair solutions that's my staple and yeah, that's pretty much it. Deep conditioner, I do use the Ors Hair Mayonnaise, um, but sometimes I feel like that dries out my hair a little bit because of the protein in it, so I don't use it all the time. Um, and for leave-in conditioner, I pretty much use anything. So yeah, just for, so my staples, I would say, would have to be Shea Moisture, any Shea Moisture shampoo, and my Ion, Ion Repair Solutions conditioner. What are some of the reactions you get from others about having relaxed hair? So I love this question because me and Aaliyah, we talk about this all the time, but I get like one of two kinds of reactions. So I'll either get people who compliment me in the street like, oh my gosh, your hair is so pretty. Oh, your hair is so full. I like your hair. Either they'll ask me like, are you, are you natural? I'm like, no, I'm relaxed. Or they'll just start talking to me and be like, yeah, your, your hair is like my daughter's hair, thick, whatever. And they'll just start talking to me about like natural hair and everything. I'm like, oh no, I'm relaxed like I'm not natural or anything like that and then they'll be that kind of leads into the conversation of oh if you were natural your hair would be so much more beautiful or thicker or whatever whatever and then weirdly people always tell me like why are you relax like it looks like your hair would be very easy to manage natural and I'm like where are you getting that from like how does my hair look like it will be easy to manage natural like I don't know I never get when people say that but those are the kind of the reactions I get I don't get offended if, when people are surprised I'm actually kind of like yep my hair is relaxed girl yep yep <laughs> but um, I don't get offended or anything like that but yeah the reactions are always really funny number 11 name your favorite protective style so it used to be sew-ins but I just have learned that sew-ins I just don't think my hair uh, when it's relaxed um, can take sew-ins. I think it's a little too much uh, pressure on my hair and it's a little too, it kind of stresses my hair too much. So sew-ins I'm kind of trying to stay away from. So other than sew-ins, I don't really do protective styles, which is really, really bad. Protective styles is like anything that, anything that protects your hair, right? Okay, well I do like my slick back bun. My slick back bun kills them every time I just do like a little middle part in my hair and then slick my hair back I always get so many compliments on that and it just looks really sleek and put together so yeah I would say my slick back bun definitely well all right guys that pretty much wraps up my relaxed hair tag I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it I am going to tag all of destiny Brienne live and I'm also gonna tag my friends Aaliyah here at Essential so yeah, 
And anybody else who wants to do it, feel free. I'm really interested to hear about everybody's relaxed hair journey and what brought them there and everything like that. But yeah, if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe and visit www.beessential.com. Bye, guys.